So this is a game I played the other day in the Minakaze. I had just reset the line for the Research Bureau, the double bonus, and this was the very first game I played in the regrind. And it's really hilarious because this is the one I actually played off stream just as I was warming up before coming on stream. So it's hilarious how well this game worked out. So this is the tier 5 Japanese torpedo boat, the Minakaze. Really good detection range. 5.4 kilometers, 7 kilometer torps, very fast reload time. This turned into a fun little game. Hello, highway. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the stream. So, we're just going to start off with one or two little replays from during the week. One is this one is the Minigaza. The next one is in the Fletcher. Apparently a really nice game as well. Our Phoenix. Our Phoenix torping from behind. So you can see this is this is standard battle mode. And we have the usual rush of suiciders. Our V170 is charging into almost certain doom I can remember thinking oh dear this is not looking well for this guy there's Isaac Kaze out there there's a Clemson smoking up there in front of me immediately drop some torps on his position in the smoke and where I think he might actually come out Clemson surprised me here he rushed out of his smoke screen. I think he found that once the V-170 had gone down, he no longer had to stay in the smoke, so he caught me off guard there. Our Phoenix is in an equally terrible position. He's caught isolated. Phoenix gets absolutely blapped. So now I'm up against five ships here, and more coming from the middle. Everything's kiting away, so the Congo is the only one that's actually coming towards me. So I move into position to get some torps on this Congo. Almost too close here. I just get around the corner of the island, avoiding getting detected. My Kaiser has started to run away. And it looks like some of our battleships are trying. The Pietro Veliki and New York, it looks like they're trying to go up the middle. This is a curious move. Get a couple of torps on the Congo. No flooding though, which was a little bit disappointing. Have the torps up again. I'm going to keep that Congo under pressure. I've got multiple DDs here. The Clemson and the Isokaze. My carrier is not moving, even though we're being pushed on this side. Get detected by the Isakaze. Another couple of torps on the Congo. At least he takes a flood this time and goes down. Only one flood from five Minakaze torps. Had me a little bit shocked. So that's pulled it back shipwise a little bit at least. We're still really on the defensive on this side and that's not necessarily a bad thing when you're in a Japanese destroyer. 
to have multiple targets pushing your position it's it's actually ideal you got fast short range torpedoes and to have targets pushing into them it makes it much easier to actually land those torps on target I do face an issue here though the Kaiser is about to go down Langley is still not moving and we're being pushed really hard here with two destroyers Clemson Isakaze Costa Langley has planes over the Isakaze just quickly try and smoke up and just do an, a little bit of chip damage I'm not intending to stay here long because I'm being pushed from behind by that emerald Clemson pops out I was a little bit disappointed here I was hoping to get off another couple of salvos but the emerald is pushing in too close And it's his Royal Navy AP that I'm kind of worried about. The two DDs I can kind of kite and try and farm them as I run away, but we're in real trouble on this side. Our carrier is still not moving, so he's virtually a dead man walking. He suddenly decided to move, but it's already too late. There's too many ships rushing. We're we're down three ships to six here and it's about to get a lot worse a lot worse even i'm hoping that emerald is going to try and use my smoke a little bit i have to try and keep this clemson off the carrier we've lost another ship we're down three to seven Langley is in deep, deep trouble. Get a decent salvo on that Clemson. I'm able to keep the island between most of the other ships. Carrier goes down. So now we've lost eight ships. It was eight on three there for a moment. We're in really bad position. We're being our carrier is down. We're massively outnumbered. Do manage to take out that Clemson though. They're already beginning to lose their lose their minds in the chat. So at least I've got rid of one of the DDs here in front of me. Isaac Kaz has pushed into the capture point. My main threat here is not so much the Isakaza, but it's the Emerald. It's the only cruiser here. Isakaza is spotted by the, the now dead Langley's planes. I guess to reset him at least. Smokes up. I'm thinking here. The Emerald might try and go for the Isakaze smoke screen. So I torp the smoke. So it's a full HP virtually Koenig and a full HP Orion there behind. Really hoping to get a torp here. Isakaze actually outspots me there for a moment. He looks like he's about to ground. Managed to reset him. I do get a torp on that emerald in the smoke, so he's got to be pretty low. Still in a really poor position, though. Their enemy is in our cap. We don't have. A CV. Emerald is pretty low. 
gets taken out by the Pietro Veliki. That's very, very helpful indeed. British cruiser there in the center. Spotted by that DD. He's trying to get away. So we're going to keep gunboating. Gunboat, gunboat Minikaze takes out the DD. So now things are looking an awful lot better. We're down on points, we're down on ships. But I'm up against two battleships. Which really changes the odds in my favour. Do have the support of the Veliki here beside me. So it allows me to torp these guys. Kony does have a spotter plane up. Kony is turning away ever so slightly. He's still comfortably within range. That Kaiser rammed the British cruiser, the Dene, there in the middle. Now it's an eight. We've lost eight to the enemy's nine. But the enemy still has a carrier. And still very, very healthy battleships. Our Veliki is low HP. The Kaiser is flanking the New York. You really, really need to start killing these, these battleships. Do have torps on the Orion? Looking good. Get three on the Orion. He gets taken out by the Veliki. So now it's a three on two situation. They've got two battleships. They have a carrier somewhere. The carrier has been leaving me in peace, fortunately enough, for the most part. Got good looking torps out on that Koenig. Kaiser coming in. We take out that Koenig. We get the Confederate Award. The Kaiser is approaching from the other side. So it, it, all these all these torpedo attacks, they're all very much in my favour. All these targets coming towards me. Fat, slow battleships. Really ideal targets. Carrier is searching for me. Still over a hundred points behind. I'm hoping our Veliki can stay alive. Kaiser was faster than I anticipated. Get another two. Lucky to get two there. Get the high caliber. Veliki is bow tanking though, so he should be able to to stay alive. I'm thinking to myself, this Kaiser has taken he's repaired that flood. Let's try and stick some fires on him and take his attention off the Veliki for a moment. Dodges those torps completely. Right now I'm thinking to myself, I've blown this. Thinking my Veliki is going to die here. And I'm not going to be able to kill a Kaiser and a CV in time. Because we're still well over 100 points behind. We do get a double fire. Double fire salvo. These things only happen off stream. Chat have to be seen to believed. We burn down the Kaiser. We get the Kraken. 
And now we start to deal with this carrier. Our Veliki still has almost 10k HP. But that's not that much against Japanese carrier. So it looks, according to RPF, he's over there behind those islands somewhere. We've just barely taken the lead on points. We're five points ahead. I'm telling my Veliki not to die if he can help us. But against a carrier, he has very little choice in the matter. I don't have enough AA to actually help him with these planes. Even though I'm, I'm trying. So it's up to our Veliki to dodge these torps as much as possible. Miraculously, he dodges the first one. So every second this Veliki can stay alive and keep this CV active is a second closer to us winning the game. So I'm going to try and hunt down this carrier. I'm thinking worst case scenario here is I don't have enough AA to keep the Veliki alive. The best thing I can try and do is get into the enemy cap, hopefully spot the carrier, get our Veliki to get off maybe one or two salvos before he actually dies to this carrier. And suddenly the Hosho pops up. I'm thinking to myself, hold on. There's hope. So it's time to gunboat. I think I'm just going to open fire. I mean, Minikaze doesn't have the greatest guns in the world, but they are Japanese. They are Japanese guns. They are not bad. You don't have a great reload speed. But by constantly shooting him here, I'm never going to be able to torpedo him because he's moving away at high speed but I'm going to take the pressure off my Veliki and the carrier is going to have a much harder time striking me than he is the battleship and as long as I can keep this battleship detected I'm hoping this Veliki can manage to dodge all you have to do is just dodge just dodge is all you have to do. It's so easy when it works. Keep keep gunboating this whole show. He's running for his life. But I'm currently in the cap, so I'm I'm helping our points total as well. There's just under two minutes left. Dodging these rockets pretty well. The, the carrier is taking fire from the Veliki. And considering we were in an 8 V... We had lost 8 ships compared to the enemy's 3 at one point. I'm thinking, hold on a second, this is... This could be... This could be an epic comeback. I'm trying to push a little bit wide so I can get shots at his superstructure. He's coming at me with rockets again. He does set me on fire and knock out my engine. I'm slowly getting closer to him. And you, you can see how many shell hits I already have in this game. For a Minikaze. He knocks out my engine again. I'm up to 67 shell hit which is very unusual for a Japanese low tier destroyer got down to 23 seconds I'm thinking just do I have time to actually get torps on this guy and stay alive knocks out my torpedo tubes just gonna keep firing just looking at me, get a citadel, Hichi citadel. Thinking, oh no, two. 
I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.